Hello. I'm a Hi. I'm a boy. Hello. You think we'd be better at intros by now? <laughs> you think we'd be better? You kick that negative energy to the curb. Let's get it rolling. Well, it's Dad Rector's cut. Dream Daddy. Hugo's here, and so is Damien. <laughs> I can see things with my eyes. This Damien, you have to see to believe. Damien and I fall into step behind Falling Hugo. Falling in love. We all fall in love and have a hideous threesome. Oh, hideous. Hideous. Huh. Who leads us through the busy corridors of the school? We pass by several classes in session, and I vaguely wonder if Amanda's around. Hugo eventually Ooh. ushers... Are you already tired? I've been tired the entire tired, day. Tired, tired day. Ushers us into a small boiler room with a flight of rickety stairs leading down into darkness. Watch your step. I can hear faint voices drifting up from the basement, and they don't sound happy. As I'm led into the depths of the school, I recall the antics I got into as an angsty middle schooler. At least I had enough sense to stay out of creepy basements. We find another teacher in a boiler room tucked away in the back of the basement. With him are Lucian and Ernest, Hugo's son. Lucian has a bloody nose. Thanks for coming. I can't make heads or tails of this. I look around the scene of the crime and see a bunch of bricks and some masonry tools scattered around. What happened here? Is it me? No. I was just gonna say. Ernest punched me. Lucian tried to kill me. Ha! <laughs> the room falls silent. I was not trying to kill you, dumbass. I was just trying to build a brick wall around you and see what would happen. You promised me there was wine down here. You tricked me! Huh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Ernest, what are you? An idiot sandwich. <laughs> Wait a second, Lucian. Did you try to cask of Amontillado? <laughs> I think I prefer. I don't think I've. You know. Uh, He's like reading it off the back of his hand. <laughs> <laughs> cask of Amontillado. I'm neither confirming nor denying that. I turned to Damien and whispered to him, "What's uh, what's cask of this Amontillado to tea chips?" Huh. It's a classic Edgar Allan Poe short story where a man gets his enemy drunk, lures him down to his cellar with the promise of wine of a fine vintage, then buries him alive behind a brick wall. Ah. It's a lovely story. Is such a, if you're gonna if you're gonna be like oh boy wine of a fine vintage and then get killed, you deserve it. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like some fine wine? <laughs> Would you like some fine wine? So wait, Luthien, you tried to do that to him. I was curious to see how it would turn out. I wasn't actually going to leave him there. What was the thought process here? That Ernest was just going to sit still while you slowly built a tomb around him? Well, it worked for like 20 minutes because he's an idiot. But then he realized that I had lied about the wine. And you were, and you were cackling maniacally. That sort of tipped me off. <laughs> As he lays the brick. <laughs> <laughs> Laying down bricks in general, so he's like a pretty big slide. <laughs> what does that have to do with wine? <laughs> do I get my wine now? <laughs> Ernest, 20 minutes? Dad. Huh? It took you 20 minutes? Son, we just had an entire two-week unit on the cask of Amontillado, and you and it took you 20 minutes to realize Lucian was leading you into an elaborate ruse? Did you even read the story? I read the first five pages, and then read a review of the movie. Huh? It's only five pages long, and there is no movie! Haha, <laughs> yeah, you're right. I paid Lucine to read it for me. To uh, read it to me. D uh, <laughs> it still works. Actually. You fucking cunt. He didn't even pay me. So when you think about it, this was me teaching him a lesson. Damien and Hugo both have their heads in their hands. You guys are always telling me to engage in the literature, and I did. I don't see a problem here. Alright, I'm filling this under what the Filing. hell. Don't <laughs> filling. <laughs> It's even now, bitch. 
don't do whatever that was again. You two are both suspended for a week. Ernest and Lucy in high five. The teacher starts to stomp up the stairs. Hugo, I'll cover your class. Take your son home, Mr. Blood March, you two. Thank you for your mediation. We all head up the stairs and out of the school in tense silence. Lucy and Damien and I all pile into my car and I begin to drive home. Lucien immediately puts his hood up and stares out the window angrily. I'm not going to therapy again. Hmm. I know, son. It's entirely up to you whether or not you want to go. But I care about you, and I can see that you're struggling. So if you do decide that you would like to speak to a professional about your feelings, we can do that too. Hmm. Maybe you can spend this next week looking for a summer job, hmm? I know how much you want your own car. I can't believe Damien's keeping his cool. I'm impressed. Fine. Thanks for not freaking out too hard. I love you, son. Mm. Lucien continues staring out of the window. <laughs> you have to say it back! <laughs> Dad, I love you. <laughs> he just breathes into the... <laughs> You want to say it back? Where are you going? Tie your fucking shoes. <laughs> you have spider powers. <laughs> I'm spoiling. I couldn't even understand that last one. <laughs> we spend the I rest spit. of the tour. <laughs> are you looking for a tissue? Because there is none. No, I'll just wait on me. Damn. We spend the rest of the drive in relative silence. The moment we pull into the driveway, Lucien hops out of the car, slams the door, and runs inside. I didn't expect to have that conversation in front of you. He and I have a lot we need to work out. It's alright. And all things considered, Lucien's bricklaying was pretty good. So there's your silver lining. There is that, yes. Hmm... What do you want to... Uh... <laughs> is that Are you with us? No. <laughs> um, I, mean, I don't know. Uh, a middle one. You were a lot more diplomatic with him than I would have been. I just want what's best for him. And I don't think yelling at him would do either of us any favors. He rarely does. You're a good dad. That's not that... See you around soon. That was not Gorkrump. <laughs> that was Damien. I'm sorry when I cut my sound like my partner. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking wow. <laughs> Color me impressed. That's what voice actors do. <laughs> I imitate you in bed. <laughs> it would be my honor and my pleasure. <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna do because you're a voice actor, right? I'm gonna do an impression of you doing an impression of a girl getting fucked by you. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking whoa! Okay, right, are you ready? Sure. Wait, I'll give you the beeps. Okay. Beep. Beep. You get it? Because she's dead. Um, <laughs> Damien bows with a flourish. Classy. Okay. What was the... Hold up. Amanda just went... <laughs> it literally sounded like John Terabulta. <laughs> he's, he's behind the couch. I come home to find Amanda curled up on the couch with a blanket watching TV. I plop down next to her. Yo! What you watching? Tiny House Hunting Brothers Extreme Edition. Ugh, I hate the show. What the fuck is wrong with you? I hate the way that it's shot. The mise en scène just doesn't work. And the storytelling is shoddy. Listen, I think it's a very well crafted show with a great crew and everyone really cares about it. <laughs> You can tell that they really, they really, they believe in it. They want to, they want to put their all into it. You can believe in a pile of shit all you want, but it's still shit.
I'm done with this bit. <laughs> <laughs> the couple on screen pickers back and forth while standing in an extremely <laughs> small house. I just couldn't. Made out of recycled memes. <laughs> The tiny house hunting brothers watch them with bemused expressions, both of their heads touching the low ceiling. I I told you I wanted a two-bed, two-bath, shabby, chic cottage. This house doesn't even have a bathroom. But honey, the outhouse is only 20 yards away. It's not that bad. I am not pooping outside, Greg. Why don't they just get a regular size house? Mm. I? I don't know. Mm. How'd afternoon tea go? It got strange. We had to go to the school to pick up Lucy and since she tried to... He lured Ernest down to the cellar with the promise of a fine vintage and then tried to brick him into the wall, right? How did you know that? Has everyone read their story except for... <laughs> me? I feel like that went on longer than you expected it to. It did. <laughs> there was a second one leading up, and I'm like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Lucian live-streamed the entire thing! As most psychopaths do. This entire day is beyond me. But otherwise, it was a fun day. That Damien guy's a character, but he's... <laughs> I am self-aware. But, he... <laughs> but he's really good company, and a surprisingly diplomatic dad. I dig his style. I want him to be my dad. I want a daughter who doesn't have an egg on her shirt. Why do you keep pointing that out? Because it's just there. Why is it there? Why do you have... What is that supposed to represent? I, just, I like to accessorize. I like eggs. <laughs> I, li I like eggs. <laughs> You know what? Me too. How do you like them? Scrambled over easy? Over medium. Okay. <laughs> it's not that strange. It's not, but, you know. To each his own. Are you, sh are you egg shaming me right now? <laughs> I've got my egg badge on. I can shame who I want. Me? The director, the well-esteemed director of Eggs Will Never Leave You? You're shaming me about eggs. Oh look, Damien and Hugo. At the same time, <laughs> it's a group chat. Hey, are you up to anything tonight? Hugo and I were planning to go to the art walk downtown, and we were wondering if you would care to accompany us. I would normally write a letter longhand, but I've run out of distressed parchment paper. Whoa! Why can I see Damien and Hugo's chat? Am I a hacker? <laughs> <laughs> but I don't even have a hacker alias. The feds are gonna bust down my door any minute. I've gotta destroy this computer. <laughs> Why is he typing all this? Good question. GoPro, this is a group chat. Oh, thank God. Do either of you guys know how to destroy a computer? You can run the Derek's boot and nuke from a startup flash drive. But once you've done that, it's best to physically destroy the bladders altogether. Ellipses. Um, <laughs> the Victorians were well versed in information security. Well, group, do you want to go see some art or not? Yeah, you know, those Victorians and their computers. <laughs> He's actually just a hacker. Art is good. Let's go see art. Alright, it's not even a choice. Next time. It just is. If you like the video, like it, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one. Hit that bell notification if you want to see more of my life. Question of the Question day. Question of the day. Yeah. How do you like your eggs? Well, that's shit in the comments below. And if I don't like your answer, I'll shame you for it. You better make an Amanda account and shame people in the comments below. I'm Bottles. I'm Pete. I'm Gorkrub. I'm... I'm a voice! I'm out of here. <laughs>